You don't think I'm going to send any of my people up against brother? Shit. That nigga got more bodies on him than a Chinese cemetery. True. Brother Muzon, one of the most intriguing characters the Wire had to offer. I've said it before, him and the Greek are the most mysterious parts of this show. Now, Brother's arc wasn't a conventional one. Reform, Lamont. Reform. It didn't feel like he had a beginning or an ending. His character just came through, fucked shit up, and dipped on out. David Simons is a master at taking untraditional characters and turning them into household names. He did it with Omar. Very sloppy. Hmm. Stick up man who only robs drug dealers, but just so happens to be gay. Shit, he did it with Snoop. One of the most terrifying villains in TV history. But yet it's played by a 76 pound female. Then there's brother. When you think of muscle, you don't think of this. You think of Weebay, you think of Bird, Cuddy, shit, even Sergey. You don't picture this. Five foot five, respectful, bow tie. I know there's a great lesson about not judging a book by its cover here. Because I probably would have caught one in the elbow just like cheese fucking around. And real shit, whether this was intentional or unintentional, Brother Muzon's character is funny as shit. So we gonna have to go through the front. That's a change for you, isn't it? Whether it's his demeanor, his mannerisms, the way he talks, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a combination of the three, but it's something about this character that to this day cracked me the fuck up. Get in the comment section. I can't be the only one. Now, real shit, y'all. This is one of my most requested videos. Today, we're breaking down Brother Muzon's top five moments during his time on the line. But first, like always, Big Rich and this bitch, tons more Wire content on the way. And real shit, if you're already subscribed, thanks so much for giving me a chance. I fucks with each and every one of y'all. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, help your boy out, hit that little red button. When you get to the end of the video, check out some of the other work, helps the channel out. You know what the most dangerous thing in America is, right? Nigga with a library card. Before we get into number five, I got an honorable mention. Lamar, where's my Harper's? Say what? I normally don't do honorable mentions, but this scene right here is so legendary and so funny at the same time, I had to make room for it on this list. Brother Muzon lecturing Lamar about forgetting his magazines while sitting on a park bench in the middle of the project. Oh man, to this day, this scene still cracks me the hell on up. I did not forget to tell you Harper's. Every week I tell you the same shit, and every week you forget half of what I say. Oh man, you know Brother Muzon must really drive this man nuts 24-7. I held up my end of the agreement. Oh man, I remember this shit. I know when homie removed that towel, I know Avon was like, fuck! Bowtie walked in here like a boss and told the boss, look, I gotta kill your right hand, man. And there ain't really shit you can do about it. And I ran those East Baltimore gentlemen off. I held up my end of the agreement. At least for as long as I was physically able. You did. Shit, this scene was perfect. It was intense, kind of intimidating. But real shit, it was direct and straight to the point. Brother don't seem like the type to mix words anyway. This shit was the end of Stringer Bell. Your man, in effect, sought to have me hit. Omar told you that and you believe that motherfucker? Cause like I said, there wasn't shit Avon could do about it. I mean, look how offended this man gets just hearing the word money. Money? Yeah, this is business. I guess I should be thankful he didn't shoot Avon too. Business is where you are now. But what got you here is your word and your reputation. But I ask you this, Wire fans, whenever I watch this scene, it always leads me back to this point. Do you think Avon could have done more to save Stringer's life? Or do you think at this point Avon was so fed up with Stringer that he ain't give a fuck no more and it is what it is? Mr. Cheese, I see. And who do you work for, Mr. Cheese? Brother Muzon's introduction. Gentlemen. What's up, my brother? I mean, this is one of the best introductions to a character I've ever seen. I'm here to represent the interests of a Mr. Barksdale. Are you familiar with Mr. Barksdale? Yeah, that name ring up with so do mine. I mean, think about this. Brother showed up and shot Cheese four minutes on the job. The balls on this man. 
Do y'all understand the repercussions that could have came from this move? Whether we like it or not, Cheese is an important character. And you are. Cheese, man. Mr. Cheese, I see. He's East Baltimore's number two behind Prop. If Joe wanted to retaliate here, that shit would have been warranted. Am I correct in assuming that you are not employed by Mr. Barksdale? Hell yeah. Because if that is the case, then I have to insist that you leave. I mean, this shit could have started an all-out war. But it lets y'all know from Jump Street, Brother Muzon was not fucking around. I don't give a fuck what the fuck you need. He let you know he was not playing. What you need be concerned about is what's seated in the chamber now. A copper jacket at hollow point, 120 grain hot street load of my own creation. Then, like I said at the beginning, the humor, the dark humor. This line right here was spot on. Good day to you, sir. Every time I hear that shit, I still chuckle to this day. I will take care of them myself. Moving on to number three. Brother uses some tricky ass wordplay when talking to Stringer Bell. Brother was shot by his rival, and here comes Stringer Bell to show his love and support. Stringer should have sat this one out and stayed the fuck home. Even Avon was furious at Stringer for showing up to the hospital. So you asked him who it was? Yeah, I asked him. Why? Why what? Avon and Brother were on the same time. They both saw through Stringer Bell's bullshit. I just want to let you know that we got your back. You know, whoever did this, we'll find him. Oh man, Brother's tricky wordplay. Absolved? Really, bro? It was around this time where I really started to understand Brother's genius and how he worked. He used this word to fuck with Stringer. It's absolved. It's Absol. It's Absol. But he wanted Stringer to know that this is unfinished. We will revisit this at some point. I will take care of them myself. Brother basically told Stringer that I want you to know that I know you played some part in this fuckery. Them? Them? It was right around this time on The Wire that Stringer Bell really started playing with fire. Who came at you? Thank you for your concern. Thinking you're gonna easily outsmart two of the most lethal motherfuckers on this show? That's foolishness on your part, bro. Brother handled this shit like a master showman. I ain't involved in that gangster bullshit no more. Number two. Brother Muzon and Omar working together to kill Stringer Bell is one of the most legendary and impactful deaths in television history. This is some horror movie shit right here. Watching these two chase Stringer through this building, that's like Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees on your ass at the same time. Ain't no escaping this shit. You felt that cold chill, death was in the air. Then String does what we all would probably do. That's beg for our lives. What y'all niggas want, man? Huh? Money? But doing it to these two? Shit. Stringer had a better chance of getting through to Jesus Christ himself than negotiating a deal with these two. These two were fixated on getting their revenge. There was nothing Stringer Bell could have said or done. You still don't get it, do you? Huh? It's ain't about your money, bro. Then, of course, they let him have it. Omar got to get that last BOW in. <laughs> then the glare. The glare, the stare. The look these two give each other. Knowing that the job is done. Watching these two legends on screen at the same time. I mean, 20 years ago, we really didn't know what we was watching. That's far enough. All right, y'all, moving on to number one. Listen, Wire fans, y'all are educated. Y'all ain't no dumb dumbs. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know where we're going with this. Brother and Omar come face to face. Standoff, duel, whatever the hell you want to call it. Drop your laundry and turn slowly. Just the simple fact that Bowtie got the drop on Omar is an accomplishment in its own right. So you gonna rob me now? I need to remind you who I am. Now let's keep it real. Brother Muzon earned this moment. Omar, isn't it? Him getting to this point right here, to have this face to face with Omar, this shit was earned. First he was shot. Then he recovered, 
Then he used his man Lamar's bait. But this, you could do this better. Just to flush out one of Omar's girlfriends. Let's also not forget this legendary moment with my man Bill Rawls in the back of the male titty bar. Not to get off subject, but the fact that The Wire never revisited this, the fact that nothing was ever said is goddamn perfect and hilarious at the exact same time. All right, didn't mean to get off topic, back to Brother Muzon. Like I said, Brother earned that shit. And the plan worked flawlessly. This man Lamar stuck out like a sore thumb. This shit must have been his punishment for forgetting the magazine. Maybe I can help you? He ain't want no part of this shit. This scene was powerful and perfect. This is one of them scenes in this show that's in contention for one of the greatest scenes in the entire series. I knew you'd come back. I trust you didn't lose sleep over it. Worrying about you be like wondering if the sun gonna come up. Ain't about to wild out over it. Oh man, and the shit that they talk to each other. You might not hit me. This range? And this caliber? Even if I miss, I can't miss. I admire a man with confidence. I've never seen two men threaten each other so respectfully. I see you favor a 45. Tonight I do. Tonight I do. Oh man, from the dialogue to the chemistry. Nice showpiece you got there. Walther, PPK, 380, double action. Ah, this shit had to be Brother Muzon's number one moment in the entire series. Definitely his most legendary moment. I want to ask you something brother anyway y'all i hope y'all enjoyed the brother moves on top five moments on the wire if you disagree with the list or you got one that you think should have made the cut get in the comment section i look forward to chopping it up with you and like always if you're still here if you made it to the end of the video and you haven't subscribed yet help your boy out and hit that little red button and then check out some of the other work I look forward to chopping it up with you. Thanks so much for watching. Like always, Big Rich, I'll see y'all next time.